subscribe to gizmo times and get notified about our latest videos by hitting the bell icon hey guys welcome to gizmo times so this is chetan and this is uh, the latest phone from infinix uh, the smart 3 plus which comes with the ai triple rear camera so for a budget range triple rear camera combination is something that you don't really see but this might be the first phone to have it under 10000 rupees uh, i don't remember any good phone that did the same thing and this phone has uh, an mrp of uh, 7999 rupees on the back of the device and it comes with that triple rear camera combination and uh, this this 6.21 inch hd plus display with the 19.5 is to 9 aspect ratio along with that it has the helio a22 chipset and the dual volte feature uh, and also the 8 megapixel low light selfie camera and there's a 3500 mah battery on the back of the device and there are both the security options that is uh, not just the face unlock but also the fingerprint scanner so this is the box package and uh, the variant that we are having here is the midnight black variant uh, so we'll be unboxing this and checking out what comes in the box package and then we'll talk about the uh, different aspects of the device uh, uh, with the quick impressions of it so uh, this uh, mrp is given as 799 i hope that's the same price or a bit lesser than that but uh, anyway that seems to be a good price for what is offered here because it's an hd plus display uh the only issue might be uh 2gb of ram but again for this price uh, there is uh, not a lot that you can expect more than this 2gb of ram plus 32gb storage is what is being offered uh, in this device and along with that is also yeah the android 9 pi based uh, uh, os that is the xos uh, that infinix calls uh, for its devices so that's the custom interface that is given here and uh, along with that uh, in the triple rear camera combination uh, what happens is the first one is the 13 megapixel f 1.8 camera and there's a 2 megapixel secondary camera for the depth sensing and the third one is a low light sensor uh, so the company is pegging on uh, the low light sensor to do some uh, amazing job in the low light conditions uh, for uh, better captures in low light so we'll be checking out that later uh, since we can't uh, test it out right away uh, but yeah at least for the specs part uh, this comes with that low light camera that is a triple camera uh, in which one is a 13 megapixel camera one is a 2 megapixel uh, a uh, depth sensor and a third one is the low light sensor so that third camera is only for taking in more light and uh, more details in uh, conditions where there's not much of light around so this is a device it's quite light uh, we'll be talking about it later so in the box package uh, this is uh, first the micro usb cable that you're getting here and after that uh, this is the travel adapter and uh, the maximum output of this is 5e 1.2a it's not even 5e 2a it's 5e 1.2a and uh, there's a sim ejector tool and then uh, the x club a super comprehensive app this is uh, the application from uh, infinix and uh, this is uh, the uh, infinix warranty card and then you have the user manual and finally you have a uh, cover which is not a rubber cover it's a plastic back and it has a quite a kind of a, a good finish and uh, some design on the back of it and this is basically to protect the back of the device and uh, to protect the bottom and uh, top of the phone it has all the cutouts towards the bottom uh, so that is it in the device and there's one more thing as well so there is uh, a screen guard since uh, we aren't told about any uh, protection on the device it might need the screen guard for the uh, protection from scratches but i would usually suggest to have a tempered glass if you actually want to protect your phone from uh, uh, the screen from breaking off So this is the back cover. Let me once place it and check it out how it looks like. So this is how the back cover looks like. And since it's a black back, uh, this all actually looks good when you have it on the back. Uh, otherwise, it's a transparent kind of thing. But because of the black back, uh, this all uh, draw drawing uh, easily looks out. And uh, the smart logo here towards the bottom uh, has a cutout as well. And towards the bottom of the device, what you see is. Uh, the micro usb port the speaker grill the uh, microphone as well as the 3.5 mm headset jack on the right is the power button and the volume rocker button towards the top you don't have a secondary microphone on the device and uh, towards the left you have the sim card tray which has uh, the triple uh, slot let's also remove that so this is a triple slot where you have two nano sim card slots and a dedicated micro sd card slot and uh, since uh, this has a dual volte that's an advantage here it's a water drop display so you have a tiny notch on the top and uh, uh, there's the dual 4g lte and uh, the front camera is an 8 megapixel one so the phone seems quite light uh, but again that is that is also due to the fact that it has a 3500 mah battery so uh, it won't have a, a lot of weight anyway but that light weight actually gives it a, a quite a comfort and the phone has uh, soft edges towards the side towards the bottom as well so holding it is quite uh, easy and comfortable uh, it's called the xos cheetah 
and it's based on Android 9 Pi. And uh, the processor to begin with is Helio A22, that's the quad core uh, processor with the 64 bit uh, uh, process, and uh, it comes with a 2.0 gigahertz clock speed. And along with that, uh, there's the IMG Power VR uh, graphics, that's the GPU inserted in this, 2 GB of RAM, 32 GB storage. And uh, let's quickly set it up. The company calls it a glass unibody design. I'm not really sure whether it is glass or plastic. I can't claim it's plastic, but uh, they call it a glass unibody design. So I hope it's glass. So the Exos uh, is uh, the custom interface based on Android uh, 9 Pi, and uh, you have the app drawer here. There are some pre installed applications apart from the Google Apps. Uh, you have the Danger Dash game, and uh, Flipkart is pre installed where the phone is going to be exclusively available. Opera News is also pre installed PHX browser, and uh, X Club is there, X Theme and X Share. These are uh, the uh, applications from uh, Infinix. And uh, under the settings, you have uh, loads of uh, uh, settings to actually play around with and uh, uh, personalize the device for you. This is a 2GB plus 32GB RAM, GB RAM variant, and out of which you have this. Just after booting up, out of 1.08GB is available to the user, and 24.69GB uh, is quite a good storage uh, for you to have. And the smart panel with direct access to common features and intelligent voice uh, broadcast, action and gesture features where you have uh, some gesture features to uh, check out. There's also the XOS lab and uh, uh, under the display you have the adaptive brightness and uh, there is the notch area display as well uh, where you can uh, have the self adaptation or hide the notch area. So these are uh, the two options for the notch. So this is how you can change it. Uh, so under the display settings that was it and now moving on to the um, security features that I had talked about. So there are fingerprint and face unlock features. Now for the fingerprint management uh, you have these options. You can take the photo with the fingerprint uh, and you can accept a call by tapping on the fingerprint uh, scanner. Also do the call recording in the call interface long press the fingerprint to start or stop recording which is a good feature and dismissing the alarm. And now let's move on to the next aspect that's the cameras of the phone. So there's a triple rear camera combination here uh, as said it's a 12 megapixel plus 2 megapixel plus one low light sensor and uh, there are features like the AI portrait mode and also the AI HDR, AI beauty. Uh, since it's Helio A22 that has support for the AI features, uh, there's AI cam. There's beauty, bokeh effect and the AR shot. AR shot has all those uh, things like uh, the stickers that you can uh, use here. And uh, let's go back to the regular cam. And for the video capturing, what you see here is uh, the best of 1080p videos that can be captured with this uh, phone. And for the camera, you have features like HDR, uh, which can be turned to auto or uh, the um, or you can turn it on or off uh, by uh, your manual way. There's grid touch capture and auto watermark. And for the front camera, this is the front camera of the phone and uh, for the front camera as well you have the beauty and also the portrait mode where you can uh, blur out everything on the background or the foreground and have the face in the focus. So this is the portrait selfie that is captured here. And uh, there might be some issues with the bordering as you can see here. but. Uh, I will have to check it out more uh, to judge it totally but for now that is uh, what it shows. It's an 8 megapixel camera that you have on the front of the phone and uh, on the front as well you can capture full HD videos. So this is all about the Infinix Smart 3 Plus smartphone and uh, this phone comes uh, with a price of uh, 8000 rupees as the box price. I hope the price uh, might be lesser but at least that is uh, what is mentioned on the box of the phone. and. Uh, for what is offered here, the specs, uh, the connectivity options and also the camera setup here, it seems quite a good phone for the price and it might compete the likes of uh, the uh, phones like uh, what was released yesterday, that's the Realme uh, C2 and also the Xiaomi Redmi 7 that is going to come uh, uh, pretty soon. So those are the phones it would be competing. I hope uh, uh, it does well and uh, I hope you like this video and if you still have any other questions about this phone, do let me know in the comment section below. And subscribe to this one and some more. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.